Well, Peter Matthews is a political analyst and professor of political science at Cypress College. She joins us now from Los Angeles. Thank you for being with us. Uh, now, this, this email controversy is, is one that has dogged Hillary Clinton from the beginning, and I suppose it depends on what you think of her uh, to begin with, but do, do, does the release of these uh, documents raise any new questions about her, her credibility and her trustworthiness? Well, there was no one smoking gun, but there were a lot of little sparks that it raised or that went off, and that was, for example, she said that she couldn't recall whether she got any training on classification procedures or contents of emails, how to handle them. There were a lot of little questions like that. It also came out that she wasn't aware of the different levels of classification. And about the drone strike, uh, she wasn't aware that she shouldn't send an email on a personal server regarding a drone strike. So that just gives a lot of fuel to the fire for Donald Trump. But there was no smoking gun that would say, well, this is going to really do her in and she's not going to win the election. That's the way I see it. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out in the next few days. But it's not going to help her to have this report out there. So does I don't it, think it'll necessarily stop her entirely. But does it, yeah. does it uh, support the, the criticisms of her and her staff that, that she has been, in the words of the FBI director, extremely careless in her handling of all this, at the very least? I'm afraid it does, actually. So much of what came out today in the report and became public once again does indicate that she was extremely careless. And I just mentioned a couple of incidents, especially the drone strike uh, email. And those kinds of things should have been aware. She should have been aware that, uh, you know, certain emails are born classified. Just by the very nature of the email, they should be considered classified. And she wasn't aware of that necessarily. She said she wasn't aware of that, actually. That's a real problem in terms of judgment, in terms of awareness. And I believe you said something about the concussion. It was attributed that she may have forgotten about her classification instruction based on the concussion that she had. That also raised the question about her health, which I didn't think there was any problem with that. But, you know, some people may think, a certain percent of the voters may say, is she fit health-wise? Um, I think it couldn't help her that this report came out right now the way it did. And she's going to have to, and actually her campaign said, she, they're, they're glad it came out, that it clarifies a lot of things, and there was no smoking gun. So it depends which side you're on. To see and how you see it from either angle as to whether it's really hurt her or not. Yeah, it looks like something it that's going to looks like something's going to roll on for some time to come. Appreciate your perspective on this, Peter Matthews. I, I do think from, so. Yes. From Los Angeles, thank you. My pleasure, thank you. Other